there's another one called the Patriot's Corner, which is a lot like uh, the Prison Planet Forum in, in the types of people. As a matter of fact, a lot of the people from that forum uh, are, are members over on Prison Planet Forum. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I, I, I just posted it all over the place. And the day, I mean, the very day that uh, Alex announced that he had a new forum on Prison Planet, I went over. And uh, I went in, mm-hmm. and I started posting stuff about fluoride <laughs> and whatever. And uh, the, the main moderator, uh, who goes by the moniker of Sane, mm-hmm. uh, like in the opposite of Insane, Mm-hmm. Uh, he sends me a PM and he says, "Hey, buddy, would you like to be a moderator? We need a, a couple, a couple more moderators." Yeah, you know, because that first day, literally, uh, Jason, uh, ten thousand posts mm-hmm. within the first day. You know, the, the, the <laughs> it thing shows was up that there. we're pretty powerful. But if we could just group <laughs> up and agree, you know, agree to disagree on some issues and agree to try to make a difference in the way, you know, that's why, you know, for this July 4th, we're calling for InfoWarrior Independence Day. Whatever issue you want to take on, whether it's the Federal Reserve or 9 11 Truth or state sovereignty or global governance or the one world currency, whatever, you know, hand out some DVDs, hand out some flyers, make yeah. a difference. I mean, that's the bottom line. So, what's it been? What's the experience? It's been like you've you've basically been on board since day one. I mean, tell us day some one, of these. Uh, yeah, <laughs> tell us some of these forum stories, my friend. Oh my lord! Well, uh, during during the first um, two days, three days, uh, Sane had put on a lot of of um, uh, uh, moderators, and some were globals and some weren't. And, and the difference is that a global moderator has absolute moderation power throughout the entire board. And then there would be others who would be given moderation power of a specific board. And we found that in his, uh, because, because of the fact that the thing had just exploded, like, uh, I mean, literally, uh, it, it became, the first thing was the weeding out of the moderator process because we had found that there were a few moderators that were put on that were shills, so to speak. They were not the good guys, COINTELPRO people. Mm-hmm. And so we, we had to figure out who these people were, as well as all of the crazies that were coming in anyway. So the first two, three weeks was, well, it was 14 hours a day. And there were only three of us that it, there ended up being any, well, you could trust each other. And uh, that was Rock and Sane and me. And we stayed as the chief globals up until about two weeks ago. And we added another guy, so Biggs is on. And I want to say hi to Biggs and to Rock and to Sane and to the rest of the guys that are listening. And, um, you know, when you get when you get right down to it, uh, every day is uh, a story in itself. Mm-hmm. Um, we will get people who think they're doing the right thing and you know, I, I also moderate the uh, the two two blogs as well. You know, mm-hmm. you knew that, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is where you run into it because First Amendment reigns over there on on uh, Prison Planet Forum. Uh, it reigns, but it has to be kept within. I mean, twelve year olds chime in over there. Yeah. And usually, over on on Prison Planet on the blogs, you know, it's not that way. It's mostly older people who are wanting to, you know, you know, people that are adult, at least <laughs> you would think they would be adult. <laughs> uh, you, get, you get people that spam the most incredible things. You know, they're, they're thinking that they're, they're spreading the word by posting the same link to the same YouTube video twice on each one of the articles <laughs> on the... Uh, uh, on on the on the board, mm-hmm. and you have you know like two pages full of spam, yeah. And then and then you have to you know say hey dude you know this is not the way you do it. And then they scream censorship. Uh-huh. And most people don't even know what censorship is. <laughs> <laughs> I well they, yesterday they were accusing me of screening callers. I take callers direct order unless they're out of the country. And I yeah. don't care what they write. You know, you don't have to write. You know, a few of these ones have things like uh, Border Patrol, Chemtrails, Ready to Go. And, yeah. uh, you know, 
The other one says says in Toronto. You know, I, I I don't screen any phone calls. I go right down the line, and this is an open forum for free speech. That's it, and and, and that's the way it is over on the on the boards. Uh, there are certain things you don't want to do, however, mm-hmm. you know, and and those things are uh, well, you know, it's the same thing as what happened just a few minutes ago with with language. There are certain things you cannot say. Exactly. Well, you know what? Some things are inherently racist or ridiculous, and those things have no place on the forum. Anyway, we'll be back with JT Coyote after this. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis, PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com. The Cola Blue, the best atmospheric water generator out there, bar none. ECOLOBlue.com grabs the water right out of the air. Not out of the river or the sewer pipe or, you know, however you're getting your water supply in your house, toilet the taps, what a lot of people have. This is right out of the air. Then it goes through seven filters, including reverse osmosis and carbon. Ecoloblue.com, E-C-O-L-O-Blue.com, or 800-691-6043. Call and get your unit today or get a free brochure. Go to their website and look at all their other fine products. Ecoloblue.com, 800-691-6043. I'm a one man, I'm a one man. Folks, we are back, and we are joined by JT Coyote, one of the uh, admins over at the uh, forums of Prison Planet and Infowars. And and JT, what do you think are some of the things that uh, people can do to be proactive in this movement? Because there's a bunch of uh, armchair quarterbacks that are on the forum, and I appreciate the people that are putting out information, trying to spread stuff through links, you know, information, exchange information, and learn. But at at times it can get petty and people are always on the attack and they're blaming us for this or we're not doing enough. How can people remain proactive? Well, I think the best way is to, any time a troll comes on the board, don't feed them. Mm-hmm. Let them fall off. And you can tell who they are. And most people who have done um, uh, any, time, any time on forums, you know, whether a poster or a moderator can tell who they are. They will... Uh, Come in, and they will they will try to flame the argument away from you know the debate that's going on. And if if you don't feed them, then the discussions uh, progress like they should. You know, like one guy point counterpoint whatever, and then they they can communicate with one another without the you know the the shrillness in the background. Mm-hmm. The 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 idea that that we're spreading. The Tenth Amendment movement, again, after 15 years, finally, uh, it has come back. And uh, there, there's a lot of information coming out of there. We, we, we have picked up, uh, oh, at least a dozen researchers uh, on the Prison Planet Forum who are a- actively uh, perusing uh, state uh, uh, bill files, and uh, dealing with the uh, legislative legal services in states, looking for those bills that have already been passed, because that saves us time, uh, like Colorado and uh, Missouri and, and uh, Montana and uh, Hawaii. All of these have already passed the Tenth Amendment resolution 15 years ago, and they don't have to go through it. Then we can concentrate on the ones that need to pass it. You know, like Kansas and uh, New York. (laughs) (laughs) Good luck. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. New York would be a good one. And some of the stuff, um, this definitely is, is, you know, my my pet, uh, because it is the way that the people through their states can effect change in the federal government. And the federal government knows this. They know that is it is the the next thing short of armed revolution, basically. And that and they are afraid of it. They were horribly afraid of it back in nineteen ninety four, ninety five. And they started a counter movement, which is a secessionist idea, and the Tenth Amendment resolution can never become a secessionist movement, even though the shills and the trolls will tell you that it is secessionist. And they'll say, that's how we got the Civil War. That isn't how we got the Civil War. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was the failure of uh, a movement similar to this. 
and the infiltration of the secessionist groups that created the Civil War. And these groups will show up now. So you have to be wary of them. And if you see them, I mean, if I see them on the forum, you see, I have the, the kill button. <laughs> and I will not let it start. It's not, it's not that it's uh, anything even vaguely resembling censorship. Uh, you know, I will, I will let them on and let them talk and do their whatever. But the instant they get to the point where they're calling for secession, they are gone. And it's best that it be that way because you don't need people wasting their time working against what they wish to, you know, their end result. And what we want is we want the states and the people to have back in their hands the power.